greenhouse gases and the greenhouse effect. I have this one here with the sad bear. I must confess, I just let out some greenhouse gas. That's because of methane, for example. <laughs> um, okay, what is the greenhouse effect? Uh, this is important to know in general what it is, and we're going to go more specific. But in general, that's when gases in our atmosphere, those are going to trap energy, and they're going to release that energy back into the atmosphere, and that's going to basically cause the atmosphere to warm up. So that's the general idea behind it. Let's actually go into more detail. So there are plenty of greenhouse gases, and some of them have natural causes, and some of them have, uh, you know, causes by humans. And by the way, I like this new teacher says, your Uranus is filled with highly concentrated methane gas. All right, let's talk about what is methane, first of all, or methane. Some people call it that. What's well, CH4? We've got water vapor. That's just H2O. There's lots of them, but these are just some of the main ones you need to know. Carbon dioxide, that's CO2. We've got nitrogen dioxide, which is NO2, for example. And now, if we consider natural causes, well, methane, for example, uh, you find it's caused because of wetlands, but it's also by humans, you know, because of agriculture. For example, like cows farting, for example. Uh, that could be one of the many causes of methane. A water vapor, okay, well, uh, natural causes like clouds, oceans, things like that. As far as caused by humans, then we can say, for example, fossil fuel combustion. In other words, you know, running uh, cars, engines, things like that. Carbon dioxide, very similar, at least for the human causes, except for the natural causes. That'll be like plant respiration, uh, surface oceans, for example. Now, nitrogen dioxide, that's caused uh, naturally by forest and oceans, that's at least released, um, and agriculture for humans. So keep in mind, it's not that everything is bad. Some of these things are actually really good. It's good we have a greenhouse uh, effect. That actually warms up our atmosphere to keep it nice and toasty. But when we talk about enhanced greenhouse effect, that is what we think about as being caused by humans. So there's no doubt that we are causing some of this as well. Some of it is natural. Some of it is caused by us. So that's the, the whole point. I know this becomes like a political hot button issue, but it's not that complicated. You know, we're causing some of it. Nature causes some of it. Well, let's see. If we cause too much, we might cause things to heat up too much. It's, it's quite simple math in that sense. So how do greenhouse gases actually do this absorbing of the energy? How do they actually heat up our atmosphere? Well, first we've got to think about the sun itself is emitting this light, and this light is received on Earth. Okay, fine. And it's related, remember, to the solar constant. Now, there's different colors of light, of course, that we get from the sun, so let's just consider some of them. UV, or ultraviolet, thing is the light itself has too much energy. It's high energy, so it actually breaks bonds. So it converts, for example, oxygen into ozone, for example. So it makes O2 through some processes, basically makes O3. So that's not really helpful. Uh, but infrared, it turns out, that's the important one. This one here, infrared light, so light that's redder than red, so, you know, higher than, you know, 600-ish nanometers. Uh, this light can be absorbed. Now, how? What's going on? Well, let's start off by first considering uh, this light coming in. So this infrared light coming from the sun is incident on the greenhouse gases. So in other words, maybe this here comes in. This light is going to come in here. And what's it going to do? So that light from the sun is incident on some greenhouse gas. So for example, uh, let's say I pick CO2, carbon dioxide, for example. So it's going to run into some. If that frequency of the light matches the vibrational frequency of the gas, in other words, this resonance frequency of CO2, it's going to cause the CO2 to actually vibrate you know, at its natural frequency, this, this resonance. Okay, so that, that's causing this CO2 molecule then to be you know, sort of vibrating. Now, who cares? Well, that resonance vibration, that's going to actually lead to an absorption of energy. So in other words, this, this is going to cause some energy then to go into the atmosphere and actually increase its temperature. So because this absorption happens, that means the temperature then of the atmosphere goes up. That's the key sort of piece right here is this. So I thought it might be a good idea to show you with an animation. So I'll show you with this uh, PHET animations. I love them. So let's just see this one right here. It's called Molecules and Light. So we can pick different uh, things, for example. So let's just say we picked, uh, well, we can pick CO2 like we had before, carbon dioxide. There it is. So there's uh, carbon, for example, and two oxygen atoms. All right, and let's just say you know, we can pick different uh, types of light, different colors of light. Let's just say I turn it on. You'll see that this here flies through microwave doesn't really work. Remember we also talked about ultraviolet? Let's say I send ultraviolet at it, nothing. What about visible light? Nothing. But remember we said that infrared happens to be at the right energy 
and the right frequency, because remember energy and frequency are related of light, uh, through E equals HF, for example, that it's just the right amount to actually cause it to vibrate. And do you notice then what does it do? It then sends off some energy then that you know, goes off and gets absorbed by the atmosphere. So in other words, this right here is how it's happening. Okay, so it's vibrating. Now let's look at, for example, carbon monoxide. Is that a greenhouse gas? It is, so it can also work. How about nitrogen? Nitrogen is not a greenhouse gas, so it actually doesn't matter what you do. Oxygen as well, that won't really do anything. We saw that carbon dioxide did. How about methane or methane? That also does it. So that's why it's a it's a um, greenhouse gas. Water also is, because it can also vibrate at that frequency. Nitrogen dioxide also is. Okay, so I think that really helps us to understand at least this process, right, that's going on. So you can see that this light coming in. It takes this uh, little particle, for example, it can cause it to resonate and vibrate, and that causes the temperature then to go up in the atmosphere.